Hello everyone and welcome again. There are a few ways to propagate bananas. We already saw the seed propagation and the soccer propagation. In this video, I'm going to show you a third method, which is called macro propagation. In the macro propagation, we are going to pass from one single plant to hundreds of plants. For this method, we are going to need an adult plant, which we are going to take the corn, which is the base of the plant, and actually the real stem of the banana plant. With this, we are going to promote the development of new little plants. It's a very simple technique that is used in many countries because it's efficient and it's cheap. But that doesn't mean that it's the best method. In the industry, only in vitro plants are used because the technique that I'm going to show you allows the pathogen uh, to move from one place to another place. But this is another story. This video is only for plants that you have at home. So I'm going to show you how to obtain many, many plants from just one plant. So the first thing we need to do is to find a proper plant. It has to be an adult plant. And to be honest, the bigger, the better. Once we have our plant, what we need to do is to cut around the corn like this. One, two, three, and four. And then we start moving and with the knife or a machete we try to remove the roots then we then we just move a little bit and we have to do some special movements like this and then we can just take it out it's not easy as it looks but we have it here I have many because I had to do several plants but of course you can do it with just one We are going to proceed to remove first of all the soil and the roots all around as much as possible. Don't worry about cutting too much, sometimes it's necessary. Let's clean a little bit and then what we need to do is to remove the layers. You can use a knife or you can use your fingers. Then when we have all the leaves, we start cutting from the top slowly because here is the merit stem. We have to be careful now. Some people keep it, some people remove it. But uh, for now we have to be careful. So let's continue cutting, removing all the layers around the corn. This is like a giant uh, onion. For now we can stop, but you can cut more and then just repeat the same procedure for all your plants. Remove soil and roots, like this, and then we cut from the upper part. As I mentioned before, this is the actual stem of the plant. So we remove again this is the merry stem and we have to be careful with that for now. Here we have another one. We repeat exactly the same. Just remove roots, cut and remove some of the layers. It's like a coconut, right? done. Once this is done, we just continue cutting a little bit more, trying to remove as much as possible the, the, the parts of the leaves. And this is ready. At this point we have to stop and we will continue the next day. The next day the plants will be like this, a little bit darker, and we are going to cut even more. So this time we cut just a little bit on top and also around the plant. Mm -hmm. 
and then as I mentioned before some people remove the main Mary stem so we take it there the, the apical Mary stem and then we just cut like this it will promote the growth of new plants and that's it here I have prepared a mix of uh, sand sterile sand and uh, vermiculite 50-50 and then just put it there you can all, of course use a different technique you, I'm using pots but you can use uh, boxes I use just pots to to control better the space but if you have a big box you can put them all together we cover don't forget if you have many plants the label very important and we repeat the same for the rest of our plants as I mentioned you can remove the upper part or not sometimes if you don't remove the apical mary stem only one plant will come back the original one from the middle and, and not many plants so that's why some people remove the, the mary stem the, the mary stem this one is too small going to look for a bigger pot. This one is okay. So I put it there and I have these two little suckers so I'm going to also put them there. They come from the same plant. Also if you have um, suckers you can just if you want remove the roots but it's not really necessary. If they have roots they will grow better with, with roots. We cover with sand and we repeat the same for every plant. As you can see here. For this one, I'm going to remove uh, the Mary stem cover. When you finish, you put some water, not too much, just a little bit of water on, on the bottom and then a little bit on top. And then the only thing you need to do is to wait. Three weeks later. Three weeks later, as you can see, the plants are growing and this one already has uh, three plants, four plants, one, this one, when you see this kind of moss on top means that it didn't work very well. So here I'm going to show you one of the corms. It didn't work as I expected to get uh, many plants, but that depends on many factors, like the variety especially. But as you can see here, we have at least four plants from just one. Then what you can do is just use a knife to cut every individual plant, to separate it and put it in a new pot. And that's it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye bye.